Hello everyone and welcome to today's Life Yoga class. So I've come a couple of minutes um, online beforehand just to make sure that everyone is getting settled. Um, just taking it slow and easy. Um, today's class is all going to be about grounding down, slowing down. So you can do this practice actually in bed. Clearly I'm not in bed. I'm in the office on my yoga mat. Uh, but if you wanted to go, just do it in bed, put the laptop anywhere safe, wherever you're watching this right now. And you can also do that wherever, really. Um, so if you don't have a yoga mat for today's practice, don't worry. If you're doing it on the floor, just see what the floor is like. And you can use a towel, uh, maybe like a little thin blanket, not obviously a thick one. Um, and just take it from there. As I said, you can do this pretty much everywhere. It's, it's all going to be grounding or sitting post postures. So no down docks for today um, at all. Just going to give it another minute or so and see who else is joining us today. Um, if you're joining live, just say hello. Just let me know that you're there. If you're watching this on replay, just a hashtag replay. Um, if you do have any questions afterwards, um, just let me know. Um, for the practice today, um, I will actually end what I normally don't do, um, seated. So I will give you some time afterwards just to lay down and then just relax. But in case we're doing this nice and easy today, and I'm actually trying to keep this to 30 minutes, which is usually quite impossible for me. So I keep it to 30 minutes um, and hence I'm finishing it seated again. Um, but yes, I will give you some time afterwards to just really relax down, lay down, go into your Shavasana so you're not missing out on that. Um, props wise, you don't really need anything. So I currently sit on the block um, but that's because I quite like sitting on a block when I'm sitting in the beginning. Um, you don't need anything today at all. Um, so for today's practice, just making sure that you, whatever you're doing, you just listen to your body. Obviously, I can't see you. Um, so I can't, you know, I can't, I can't see the telltale signs. So usually if you're screwing up your face, holding your breath, um, really tensing your body, that's usually signs that you are too deep in the pose, it's just a little bit too much. If you're noticing that on yourself, so you have to be quite aware of that, just come out a little bit, you know. And again, some of the stuff, um, especially when you're doing forward folds, it's much more important that your back is nice and straight, rather than hunching over and going even further. So we just do it with integrity. You're not, you know, my body is completely different to yours, to anyone else's. And every day is completely different anyway. So just taking it easy today, just seeing where you are and in general, just listen to your body. Okay, then let's start. So coming into a comfortable seat, um, can be anything cross-legged, um, one foot in front of the other, kneeling down, half lotus, lotus. It doesn't really matter. And then from there, just bring your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis, whatever that feels like. So don't worry about it too much that it has to look really straight. Just whatever in your mind, what it feels like in your mind, what it looks like. Bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. And that's mainly just so that you're not really leaning back or leaning forward. And then just bring your shoulders up to your ears, really do full ones, just bringing them up, and then on your exhale, just sliding them back down. Good. Then with your hands, you can rest it on your knees, thighs, legs, feet, wherever it feels comfortable. Good. And then from here, just closing your eyes for a couple of minutes. Taking a few deep Good, and just arriving on the mat today.
forgetting anything that has happened so far and maybe anything that you have to do after just really being in the moment just taking that half an hour out for yourself looking after your body just winding down from the day good and just checking in with your body again to see that your alignment is still there and you're not leaning forward. So bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Maybe tucking your chin in slightly, lengthening through the back of your neck. Good, and with every inhale, just imagine you have a string at the top of your head and just you're growing a little bit taller. And then on your exhale, keeping that length in the upper body, just grounding through your sitting bones. And again, on your inhale, just imagining you're growing taller. And on your exhale, just grounding down again. Okay, just keep going with that for a few more breaths. On your inhale, you're growing. And then on your exhale, you're grounding down. And as an option here, if you do want to connect a little bit with yourself, maybe bring your left hand onto your heart and bring the right hand over your left hand. Just making sure again that your shoulders are away from you. Good. Just really tapping into yourself, into your heart, what you need right now. And this might not be right for you, and you will know this. Good, just a couple more breaths. Good, and then on your exhale, just releasing your hands back down, keeping your eyes closed and then inhaling both abs over your head, really stretching through the side body, bringing the palms together, making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And then on your exhale, bring your hands through the midline all the way down again. Good, a couple more times, inhaling your arms over your head, really stretching through the side body. And then on your exhale, keeping the length, bring your hands through the midline down. Good, and one more time here, inhaling your arms over your head, really stretching. And exhaling your hands through the midline down. Good, then releasing your hands all the way down and gently blinking your eyes open. Good, then bring your right hand next to you onto the mat. Maybe you've just been on, bring your hands onto the fingertips. Just keeping the length in your side body, so just making sure you're not collapsing, keeping the length, shoulders away from your ears, and inhaling your left arm up and over for a side body stretch. Good, again, shoulders away from your ears. Keep grounding through both sitting bones. So if one of you sitting bone is coming up, just come up a little bit. Again, we want, we want the integrity in our bodies. So we want the length, and there's no point in just sort of collapsing just so that you come further down. That's really not the aim here. Good, maybe opening your heart up to the ceiling a little bit. Just making sure that you're not collapsing here. Good, just a couple more breaths. Just exploring here. Good, and then on your next exhale, slowly coming back up, dropping that left hand down, you're gonna bring your left hand onto your fingertips, and inhaling the right arm up and over, keeping the side body long. Good, really reaching through the left side of the room, shoulders away from your ears. Again, keep grounding through your sitting bones, opening your heart up to the ceiling, and again, just explore here, just see what feels good, what does it maybe where you hold tension? Again, are you maybe holding your breath? Um, are you straining your shoulders? You know, just making sure you're softer through your whole body. Just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly coming back up to center again, dropping the hand down. Good. Then bring your right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind you. 
And again, just making sure that you have this over your heart, heart over your pelvis. And then inhale, opening through the front of your body, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. And then on your exhale, looking over your left shoulder. So with your hands, you're not actually using your hands or your strength in your arms just to twist yourself around. They're just there just to guide you, just to, you know, technically you can just pick them up and you stay where you are. Um, if you have done any of my classes before, maybe online or in person, you, you know I like to do that. Just pick up your hands and stay where you are. And if you swing back a little bit, that means you've been a little bit too far in the twist. Good, engaging through your core. Just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly releasing back to center. Good, then bring your left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind you. Again, inhale, opening through the front of your body. And then on your exhale, looking over your right shoulder. Again, just making sure that you had this over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Just letting the, cut, the twist come from your core, not using your hands. Good, maybe closing your eyes, just see where you are. And again, just take a note and see if you're holding tension anywhere at all. Good, just a few more breaths. Good, and then on your exhale, slowly releasing back to center. Good, if you're sitting cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, half lotus or lotus, just switch it around. If you're kneeling down, you can stay where you are. If you wanna just adjust yourself and just go into a different position, feel free. But if you've got cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, just switch them around, just to keep things nice and even. Good, again, just bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis, shoulders away from your ears, and bring your right elbow in front of you with your right fingertips pointing up to the ceiling. Good, and with your left arm, bring it underneath, and then around, and either the outside of your hands meet, or the palms meet, so there is no right or wrong, so just see where you are here. Good, shoulder blades down, and then inhaling your arms over your head as far as it feels comfortable. So you might not be going very far, which is absolutely fine. Again, just listen to your body here. And then on your exhale, releasing your hands back down. Good. Inhaling it up, keeping your back nice and straight. And exhaling your hands back down again. Good, one last time, inhaling it up, and exhaling it down. Good, then untangling your arms, just letting go, rolling your shoulders one way, and the other way. You may be just feeling that crunchy feeling, I certainly do because I do this all day, or even my phone, laptop. But it's fine, we're just going to open up in a moment anyway. Good, then with your left elbow, bring that in front of you, left fingertips up to the ceiling, and bring your right arm underneath, and again, and around. So either the outside of your hands meet, or the palms meet, just see where you are, and bring your shoulder blades down. And then from here, again, inhaling your arms over your head as far as it feels comfortable, and exhaling back down again. Good, inhaling them up, keeping the length in your back, and exhaling them back down. Good, one last time, inhaling it up, and exhaling them back down. Good, then untangling your arms, again just rolling your shoulders one way, and the other way. Good, and from here, just be curious, we can all do with a little bit of TLC. Just with your hands, just give yourself a little bit of a shoulder massage here. Just for a minute or so, and just really feel, you know, really, depending on how your shoulders are, I can 
feel that I have some knots maybe just you know just give yourself some TLC just for a moment here this is what yoga is all about just looking after ourselves after our mind and our body good maybe just doing the neck here a little bit it's whatever feels good good then releasing your hands and we're just going to do uh, a neck stretch so bring your left hand onto the mat on your fingertips just on your side again just bring your head over your heart heart over your pelvis and then with the next part it's really important that you're not actually using your hand to pull yourself so we're just using gravity here so shoulders away and dropping your right ear to your right shoulder and then from here with your right hand place it onto your left ear and as i say you're not actually doing anything with that right arm you're just placing it on top of that left ear good and from here you should start to feel that stretch through the left side of your neck here. So depending on the intensity, you can walk your hands further away. So stretching your left arm further away, you can bring it further in, backwards, or forwards. It all has a slightly different feel in your, in your neck. So again, just take some time here, maybe close your eyes and just explore and see what feels good for you in this moment. And this, if you're watching this at a later time again, you know, what you're doing now might be completely different to what you're doing then. So really explore what it is that you need right now. Continue deep breathing. Yeah, just a few more breaths. Good, and on your exhale, slowly releasing back up to centre. And bring your right hand onto the mat next to you or wherever you're sitting, maybe in your bed. Bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis, shoulders away from your ears. And again, I'm dropping your left ear onto your left shoulder. And then with your left hand, just place it on top of your right ear. Again, we're not pulling anything down, we're just placing, let gravity do its thing here. And again, with your right hand, you can move it further away, backwards, forwards. See whatever feels good here. Again, just taking some moments to explore. This might feel quite unusual, but nice. Good, just a couple more breaths. And then on your next exhale, slowly release it back up to centre. Good, so hopefully your neck is feeling nice and stretched. So as I just said, I think just before we did the next stretches, um, a lot of us tend to hunch over all day, so either we're on our phones, laptops. So, and there's a little counter right, we're just going to do a little seated twist just to open up as well. So, bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. You can clearly hear a lot of me from me today. Then, pulling your navel in and up, so keeping your core engaged. And then coming into your cactus arms, so bring your elbows in line with your shoulders and then bring your fingertips up to the ceiling. Good, and then from here, so this is where your shoulders are really nicely opening up. So keeping your core engaged, and then on your exhale, just twisting over to the left, just going as far as you can, as it feels comfortable. Again, if you're noticing that you're holding your breath or maybe you're holding a lot of tension in your right leg, just come out a little bit. There is, you know, there is no right or wrong. It's pretty, it's just to really open up your shoulders here. But instead of just sitting here, keeping your arms as they are, might as well just do a little bit twist and just do some core work. Good, just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, releasing back to center. Just make, just check in with your elbows and just see if they've maybe dropped. So if they've dropped, just bring them back in line with your shoulders. 
And then on your exhale, making sure that your core is still engaged, twisting over to the right hand side. Again, just see where you are. There is no right or wrong. Just, you know, take it easy in your twist. So potentially your shoulders are starting to hurt now. Just fine, just do one more breath here. Good, and then on your exhale, coming back to centre, releasing your arms down. Good, just taking another moment, just massaging your shoulders here. Maybe do the opposite, whatever feels good here. Good. Perfect, just one more pose in this position. Again, if you want to, you can switch around your legs if that's more comfortable. Um, maybe come kneeling down. Generally, as soon as, you know, when you feel uncomfortable, just explore that a little bit. And then maybe, you know, if it gets too uncomfortable, just move in a slightly different position. So for now, just bring your hands behind your back, interlacing your hands behind you. Inhale, sliding down the hands, opening through the front of your body. And then on your exhale, start folding over here. Bring your hands towards the ceiling. So see how far you can go comfortably. Again, just keeping your back nice and straight. Good, yeah, just for a few breaths. Good, and then on your exhale, slowly coming back up again and releasing your arms. Good, and stretching both legs out in front of you. Just gonna go back a little bit, I can actually see. Good, so pushing through both heels, all ten toes pointing up to the ceiling. Again, bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis, shoulders away from your ears. Good, then inhaling both arms over your head, keeping your chest pushing out, your back straight. And on your exhale, start folding over your legs. So just going as far as it feels comfortable and releasing your hands onto the mat, legs, toes, wherever you are in your practice today. Just making sure that your back is nice and straight. So as I said earlier, I'm just keeping the integrity, especially in the upper body. Keep pushing through your heels here whilst I'm talking. So keeping the back nice and long, rather than actually being further down and rounding over. That's not what we want. We want a long back, a long neck. That's all we want. That's all you hear me talk about in any of my classes. So if that means that you're further up, that's fine. Absolutely fine. See where you are today. And just being mindful of your hamstrings as well. Good, just one more breath. And then on your exhale, slowly coming back up again. Good, and bring the sole of the right foot on the inside of that left thigh, right knee goes out to the side. Again, keep pushing through your left heel so that your left toes pointing up to the ceiling, shoulders away from your ears. And then inhaling both arms over your head again. And exhale, folding over your left leg again. So keeping the back straight, your neck and your head in line with your spine. And then once you've met your edge, releasing your hands down again, mat, leg, foot, wherever. Good. Maybe closing your eyes. And then if you haven't already done so, just engage through your core. So again, pulling your navel to your spine. And if you want to, you have now the option just to go a little bit deeper into the fold on every exhale. Just making sure again that you would just be mindful of your left hamstring here. So if, you, if your left hamstring is quite tight, you'd probably be further up here. But you know, as I say, there is no right or wrong where you are. It's just me saying, don't worry if you're not further down, like me for example. That takes a while with the hamstrings. So no matter where you are, if you want to go a little bit further into the fold, on your exhale, just 
let it come from the core, just fold a little bit deeper. You can walk your hands slightly further forward. I, I really like to do this because that means you're not actually using your strength, you're in your hands. Good, just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, coming back up again. Good, extending that right leg out, maybe shaking your legs out. Good, and pushing through your right heel, right toes up to the ceiling. And then bring the sole off the left foot on the inside of that right thigh. Good, again, just really sitting nice and tall. That hasn't changed. Shoulders away from your ears. You can engage through your core already. Inhaling both arms over your head. And then on your exhale, folding over your right leg this time. Just going as far as if he's comfortable. And once you're at your edge, releasing your hands onto the mat, neck, foot, wherever it feels comfortable. And then bring your head in line with your neck and your spine. So again, you're not rounding over. Keep pushing your chest out. And then just check in with your core and see if you've lost the engagement. If you have. Just re-engage your core. Good. And then again, if you want to, on your exhales, you can just go a little bit deeper into the fold, maybe using your hands just to really slide, 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 slide walking your hands down. And this, this is really just for your hands so that your mind thinks, oh yeah, this is actually getting me down, but it's actually coming from your core. Good, just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly coming back up. Good, then again, bring your left leg in front of you. Maybe shake it through your legs. Good, and bring the soles off the feet onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling. Good, it's so really sitting on your sitting bones, sitting nice and tall. And don't worry, we're not going to go into both pose here. <laughs> then bring it, not at this time of night, not when I've promised you a grounding, relaxing yoga class. I won't put a boat pose in there. So bring your right foot underneath your left leg. Right here goes by your left sitting bone. So depending on your body, your right knee is either going straight forward. I can actually tell that you can't really tell that, so I've got my hand there or your right knee might be slightly further out to the side. Again, there's no right or wrong, just whatever your body feels like. So depending on where your right knee is, it's kind of dependent on where your left leg is gonna go. So either it's gonna stay on the outside, or the, well, I guess it's the inside, or you can step it over. So no matter what you do, just make sure that you keep grounding through both sitting bones. So again, if one side is coming up, just bring it over, just bring it back. To me, this is actually a lot more comfortable, though I can do both. But again, just, just have a play. If your knee is pretty much pointing straight forward, obviously if your knee is further to the side, over here, then to bring your left knee over, you will have your left sitting bone up. And that's what I'm saying, you have to have both sitting bones on the mat and really grounding down. And just decide what you wanna do with your left leg, with your left foot. Good, and I bring your left hand behind you just to support you so that however you wanna do that, you can be on your fingertips, on your palms, just making sure you're not collapsing. And then with your right arm, just hugging that left knee in, and then sitting nice and tall. You can bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. And then on your exhale, looking over your left shoulder. Again, just for a gentle twist here. Engaging through your core. Maybe on your exhale, going a little bit deeper. Good, just a few more breaths. Good, and on your exhale, coming back to center. Untangling your legs, bring both soles off the feedback onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling. And this time bring your left 
foot underneath the right leg. Bring your left heel on the outside of your right sitting bone. So again, your left knee is either straight ahead or slightly to the side, whatever it is. And then with your right foot, decide if you keep it on the inside or if you're stepping it over. Good. Then once you're there, just making sure that you're grounding, th that you're grounding through both sitting bones. Bring your right hand behind you just to support you. And hug your right knee in with your left elbow. Again, you're already starting to twist around here a little bit. Again, we're not using this anywhere, just as gentle here. Engaging through your core, sitting nice and tall, bring your head over your heart. And then on your exhale, looking over your right shoulder. Good, again, just a gentle twist. So you're not using your arm or your hand with your strength, it's just there to support you a little bit in your twist. Good. Just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly releasing back to centre. Good, now bring the soles of the feet together, knees pointing out to the side. So from here, if you do have a twisting feeling in your knee, move your knee so that you get that twisting feeling away. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, good. Generally, if you have any knee issues, you, you will know if you can do this or not. So just listen to your body. So then you've got the choice of either holding on to your ankles, the arches of your feet, or your toes. If you've never done this before, stick to your arches, because what we want again is a nice straight back. Good, so hold, holding on to the preferred choice, inhale, opening through the front of your body, and then on your exhale with a straight back, just folding over your legs here keeping your head in line with your neck, neck in line with your spine. Good, maybe closing your eyes. And just feeling your way into the pose really gently. If you're further down, you can use your elbows on your thighs, not on your knees, only on your thighs, to go to push them down to go a little bit deeper into the pose. Good, just a few more breaths here. Good, and on your next exhale, slowly coming back up again. And just coming back into a comfortable seated position. So you can be cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, half lotus, lotus, kneeling, stretching your legs out in front of you. Just for a couple of minutes here, bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. And just bring your left hand onto your heart and then your right hand on top of your left hand. Just breathing into your heart space. Maybe just noticing what made your heart close down during the day a little bit. And then see if you can open your heart up again. You know, in your home, in your safe space. Just a few more breaths. Good. If you, you do have the choice now, um, you can finish off with me in a moment. Or you can come into your um, relaxation pose. Just to relax down, either to go to sleep straight away 
or maybe just to set your alarm just for five minutes just laying down your relaxation pose can be anything as long as you feel comfortable so it can be your traditional shavasana where you just stretch your legs away you can have the soles of the feet together you can have the soles of the feet onto the mat or on the bed knees pointing up to the ceiling your hands can be by your side palms facing up or down you can have your hands on your belly on your heart whatever feels good and then if you want to finish off with me right now bring the palms together in your heart center bowing your head down just lengthening through the back of your neck taking a couple more deep breath here Thanking you for practicing with me today. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Just put in the comments um, how you felt, um, anything at all. Um, and I shall see you soon and uh, have a lovely rest of your evening. Until next time, see you later. Bye.